You know, I was gonna hold off on the Frost Bundle, but you guys convinced me. You guys have been showing me a ton of support, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna open up this bundle for you guys. The first time we opened up the Frost Bundle when it came out about two weeks ago, it definitely treated us well. But then when we went ahead and opened up the 10 random packs you can get from it, it didn't treat us so well. So let's see how our second bundle is gonna do. Now we do get a Football Outsiders topper. That is gonna be an elite card. Now it can't be the 24-hour Bonte Davis. But it can't be any other 24-hour cards, so we'll just have to wait and see here in pack number one. Already getting some of those Ice Bowl collectibles. We end it off with a Phil Taylor 77 overall defensive tackle. Let's see what pack number two has in store for us. Derek Sherrod from the Packers. Okay, more Rising Stars, some bronze badges, a silver badge, an Ice Bowl collectible, and that pack was a dud. There was nothing in there. Let's see what number three is going to bring us. Le'Veon Bell. We get a team of the week, Jared Allen, 90 overall right end. Now here's the thing that I don't like about these packs. This card used to go for about 180 to 250,000 coins. Now he's going for about 35 to 45,000. And the reason why that is, he does go in the Richard Sherman collection, so he should be worth a lot, but there's no collectibles on the auction house. So if you don't have the collectible, you can't complete the set, and therefore the elite in the set has now really decreased in value by a ton. So Jared Allen, not a bad pull, but like I was saying, his value is so low at the moment that it's really not too great of a pull. Pack number four, it may even been pack number five. Nothing going on here in number, we'll call it number six. We do get another Ice Bowl collectible, AJ Jenkins, and then the pack off Oliver Vernon and a couple of bronze badges. So, so far, not so good. Timmy Jernigan from the Baltimore Ravens, man. I'm trying not to talk about the Patriots and Ravens game, but it was such a good game. Just so fun to watch. But you guys know me. I'm not trying to talk about the Patriots in my videos. Yes, I am a Patriots fan for you guys that don't know. But hey, if you're a football fan and you watched that Ravens-Patriots game last night, it was a heck of a game. Probably one of the better postseason games I have seen in a while. Now, if the Patriots lost, it probably would have been one of the worst. But it turned out all right. So in this pack, we get Greg Jennings. And man, these packs have been brutal so far. Another Ice Bowl collectible, a few bronze badges. Show me an elite badge. We need an elite badge so we can go ahead and open up a flashback tonight. We get an Owen Daniels Football Outsiders. Okay, one more thing about that Patriots Ravens game. He played like a monster last night. I mean, he's been such a beast for the Ravens this year. So underrated. We may just have to try that card out. David Emerson, we do get a Drayton Florence. Now, I know it's a silver card and he's a free agent, but it goes in one of those sets. And I want to say he goes for about 30,000 coins. So that right there is a good pull. No Sean Moreno. Can we clutch it? We get a gold badge, an Ice Bowl collectible, and Antonio Johnson. Okay, so now we have the Football Outsiders topper. This is either going to make or break our bundle. If we get Vontae Davis, I'm just going to freak out. But if we get someone else, then he's probably really not going to be worth a lot. Some of these elites are going for pretty cheap. Let's see what we're going to go ahead and get. And, okay, we get Jonathan Stewart. He is the new Football Outsiders League. Goes for about 35 k So I will definitely take that pull. Definitely could have been a lot worse. And here we go, guys. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open up one more pro pack. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll strike gold. And right away, okay, we get a Harmon to end the pack opening. I will take that. He was the one that got the interception against Joe Flacco late in the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you later tonight with a flashback pack opening. Peace.